everyone and welcome to episode 11 of the Lonely Ladder and we already have a clockwork here for our team which is pretty nice and on the other side we have a Bloodseeker that is a random Bloodseeker, we have a Tinker and we have a Nature's Prophet so it's gonna be Split Push Ahoy, uh, Tinker and Nature's Prophet are very annoying in that regard but we have a clockwork that is pretty pretty hard counter, well, well not hard counter but Clockwork is very good against those kind of heroes because he can initiate from very far away. So if he stays, like for example, in the jungle, and Tinker or Prophet decides suddenly to push the lane, he can very easily just hook in and kick them, uh, kill them afterwards. Uh, so another big counter to these are uh, is a is a Bat Rider. Uh, Bat Rider is very good at just picking off heroes as long as he's off the map. But as see, it seems like we have. Um, who am I gonna go for? I think I'm gonna go for Lion just for the amount of disables, and because I like Lion. Um, so of course Lion here is not the best choice, <laughs> uh, because if you see the other side, uh, Lion, uh, I mean Tinker and uh, a Prophet are pretty good targets for a Lion, but. Um, yeah. At the same time, you also see that they have uh, they have the alchemist, which is very strong against lion. If he has the ultimate, you pretty much can kill him uh, with with him. And uh, Abaddon is also the same for you know against lion. You can't really kill him. Uh, we you can actually calculate to get him uh, to get him before he uses his ultimate, but it's still very hard, and you don't want to use your ultimate on a um, Abaddon. Plus, Bloodseeker can silence you, and then you're fucking fucked. So, let's see. There we go. What? One word. Oh, yes. Oh, fuck. All right, so we don't have a word for top. Uh, I I totally forgot. I, I was talking so much about control and everything, and <laughs> using control, using control, and I just woke up for this episode. So well, yeah, I guess. Oh well, and my mouse is still acting up weird. And I guess uh, this time I'll I'll be the one making the mistakes. Anyway, so top lane, um, chaos knight plus lion against what's probably going to be a. Abaddon? I don't know. Maybe it's... Oh, yeah. Abaddon is here. So, um, has to be careful. Yes. Uh, no, it's gonna be an Alchemist uh, solo top. So, I guess, I guess, um, yeah, he's safe. He, he's very safe. I'm not gonna stay there. Uh, Furin is going to be jungling, and I'm gonna be just pulling. There we go. There we go. Ah, only pull two. Well, it's 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 also nice because it's gonna pull the creep wave anyway. These 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 creeps are gonna die. Like my and my creeps here are gonna die because it's uh, easier to kill it. Uh, we see that Chaos Knight is actually so yeah. I can pull it again and then I'm gonna pull it to this camp if I can. There we go. And this time I'm not gonna screw up the timing. Eh. All right. How's it looking, bottom lane? Ah, not so bad, not so bad. Ah, can I make it in time? Can I make it in time? It's very easy to pull on the Radiant side, but on the Dire side, I find myself having a little bit of troubles uh, doing that double pull. And in the in the Radiant side, you can pull here, here, and there afterwards, so it's easier. And hello, hello, where are you? Yeah, you're here. Oh, that hurts. Why not? That's a first blood. Oh, Tinker actually got the first blood? That's not good. Oh, first blood. Go get him. Come on. Come on, come on, one more hit, one more hit. Ah, no, he's not gonna have it. Um, so Invoker died to Tinker in the middle lane. Oh, yeah. DD. DD really hurts. 
He doesn't have any salve, so that's good. That means he's not gonna be uh, able to survive another attempt of uh, uh, kill, another kill attempt. Oh, uh, someone else asked me actually in the when I was playing uh, another game, why don't I make a uh, why don't I start with um, smoke and tangos instead of like two set of tangos? And the reason is because it didn't stack. Oh no, it didn't stack. Yes. I think he's trying to kill the Walkin. I think he got the, the kill on the Walkin. Clockwork got killed by Bloodseeker? Are you serious? Oh, yes. Go, 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 get him, get him, get him. Ah, uh, too far. Never mind then. Yes. Where's the fucking flame cord? <laughs> Let the flame begin! <laughs> Tinker is missing, and I'm gonna get a one. That's always nice. One. Not necessarily against the alchemist, though. I'm not sure I should have uh, gotten the uh, one here. Maybe I shouldn't got a TP for middle lane uh, counter gang purpose. So at least I'm getting good levels and CK as well. I hope he's getting good form too. Oh, Invoker just died. I fucked up the pull again. <laughs> ah, morning, morning. We got a kill in the middle lane, so that's that's nice. Let's see. Chaos Knight just killed Alchemist, and he's trying to run away. I think he's going to be fine. He should be fine. Tinker just died, so he won't be able to collapse onto the Chaos Knight. Yeah, and uh, we see that Furion just gave up the chase. Ah, oh, come on. Seriously? Again, I missed one? Um, I have to be careful here because uh, my Chaos Knight isn't here anymore. Wait. Okay, so I... Oh, double pull. Oh, uh, yeah, your creeps, by the way, some some people don't know that. Your creeps don't block the, 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 um, the respawn of the camp. So that means if your creeps just killed all the creeps right before the one minute mark, it will respawn the creeps. And there we go. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm not gonna try to pull this one because it's too easy to uh, to kill. So I won't be. Ha I won't have the time to pull the uh, other camp afterwards. I'm just gonna do that to be able to. Uh, all right. So I have to be very careful now because I think Alchemist can kill me. Uh, I, he has the speed to do that. Yeah, he has boots, I don't have it because I'm trying to get wards and everything by myself. So it's very dangerous. Um, uh, I think he has a ward though. So tinkers, tinkers here. If anyone rotates top, uh, I'm dead. If if like Alchemist ca catches me with uh, one of his concoction, and anyone is with him, I'm dead. I, I don't have the time to actually stay alive and then come back. Oh, I think yeah, I think he has a ward there. Actually, no. No. Yeah, he has a ward. The ward is dead now. You see, he just died. Like, watching his movement, you can see that he has a ward. Come on, kill him. Oh, oh, no. uh, that Ember Spirit isn't doing that much. Whoa! What? I should have stunned before running. My bad. I thought the uh, I thought the uh, rupture was already gone, but uh, it wasn't. Bloodseeker's level eight. Okay, uh, that was weird. Because like Clockwork is level four and Ember is level five, so I thought like Bloodseeker must not be that high of a level. 
And suddenly, level 8 Bloodseeker. <laughs> that hurts. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gonna kill the Ember Spirit if uh, Clockwork doesn't do anything. Um, Tinker is very susceptible to ganks, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get a, a gank on Tinker. Yes. Yeah, he's blocking the pull, that's good. Your top tower is under attack. Yeah, we can steal them. There we go. Stolen. <laughs> Why not? Uh, not sure he can kill him. Uh, oh, the the rage is almost done. Onward. Ah, fuck! I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up this one. Where's the fight? Your bottom tower is under attack. Bloodseeker is going to be very annoying here. Uh, I think we can go again. Oh no, he doesn't have any uh, stun or anything. Mm. Considering the way he acts, it looks like he has another ward, but I'm not really sure. It doesn't seem very likely that he has a ward there. Yes. So Alchemist. Yes. Get back, okay. Alright, I'm just gonna go and farm again. Get level 6 at least. Oh, he's gonna get the kills. I don't think they can kill. Oh, wait, never mind, there's Invoker with him. Five in a row. And he's gonna heal. Ah, uh, Invoker's gonna die. Why not? He's stuck? Ah, fuck, this is a bug. Um, there was a bug on the... Uh... Oh, hell yes. There was a bug on in a pro game where this happened. And, um... Your bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, use ultimate. What the hell? Yeah, he can't. Oh, he can. He can. He didn't have enough mana for it, I guess. Time to get level 6. Wait, my 6. Okay, so our CK is level 9. He, he looks pretty farmed. That's good. I don't want to get hit by this ultimate. This hurts. There we go. Thankfully, it hurts a lot, this uh, ultimate. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't have gotten the kill. And that would have been very sad. He kind of went on without, without me being prepared for it. So, yeah, you go home. All right. You farm, farm. Bloodseeker is just having a wonderful day. Your what the hell? Tower is under attack. Oh, yes. Never saw uh, Bloodseeker so fed, but it, in the end it's a Bloodseeker, so that means right now it might be a problem, but... Nah, he has ultimate, we can't kill him. We can't kill him. We, we can't kill him. <laughs> No, what the fuck? He's gonna get killed if he continues like that, because uh, unstable concoction is physical damage, so the flame gore is not gonna help him. I'm not gonna stay there. Too too risky, way too risky. Uh, so, 300 gold to finish. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. I think there are some people here. He's right to put a remnant. Okay, normally they should be able to kill him. Uh, Sunstrike? No? Not even sure they have... Oh, they are, they are, they are. No, don't run, don't run, don't run. Incoming! Your top tower is under attack. 
Why not? Ah, finally we got the kill. Good, 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 good. That was nice. Such a bad play. Can't disagree with it. Alright, I got enough for ouch. This and this. There we go. What the hell? Okay, so uh, that's, I think I just found a bug. <laughs> A very annoying one, but um, yes. uh, until I have my uh, my trap, uh, my not my travel, my train kills, it's going to be very risky to play there because Tinker can just you know spam rockets and then TP away and then TP back, have mana and just go back and use rockets again, and then Bloodseeker just comes in and kill me, which is probably going to happen if I stay alone in the middle lane for too long. <laughs> in any case. So here we go. I'm gonna place a ward around Roshan because yeah, so middle lane is gonna fall. Oh. Regeneration. Not sure we can go. No, what the fuck? Seriously? There we go, at least he dies. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Don't you dare moving. March of the Machine. <laughs> One of the most annoying spells to play against. So top tower is getting a uh, free farm. I mean, uh, whoever's on the top yes. is getting free farm because no, none of us is here, which is not good. Your top tower is under attack. I, I would like if you could tank it. No, you don't want to tank it. Fine, fine, fine. I get it. Yes. Gotta block the creep camp again, but uh, need help. Your top tower is Need help, attack. otherwise I'm just gonna get murdered. To hell and back. Send forge, please. So I can ward. Verily. I go like the devil. Uh, I'm not gonna ward there. I want to ward the ancient camp so Tinker doesn't do the uh, you know ancient pull, ancient pulling, ancient stacking, etc., oh, etc. Yes. So okay, so Ember Spirit, can you put just just a remnant, please, a remnant. Yeah, it's warded. They know we're here. Oh fuck! It hurts. Uh, yeah, they have to get back. At least that's good. Okay, so it looks like uh, someone's farming there. I'm taking a huge amount of damage. He has blink dagger. I should be fine. I'm just gonna hide in the trees. Hide in the trees! I told you to hide in the trees. Why'd you come out? I, c I can't leave my ally here. Oh yeah, he came back. He came back. He, has a, he came back with ultimate. Good, 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 good. We got one. This one is gonna die. Yay! There we go. And this guy is gonna stun himself. Nah, I think I can't catch him. No, no, okay, no, no. Fine, we're we're actually more than them and we could actually do something, but if you don't want to go, we, I'm not gonna force it. Uh, this guy's so dead. Goodbye. Boom. 
Okay, so middle tower, we see... Actually, it shouldn't be Clockwork that goes there. It should be like Ember Spirit. Put a Remnant and stay there, uh, and stay mid. And Clockwork should be with us, because Clockwork is not the one needing the farm right now. There we go. Next item on the line is going to be a Blink Dagger. Nature's Processes. Ooh, Clockwork just got killed? Yeah, w whenever you see my screen going totally weird, it's because my mouse is bugging out, which is happening quite often these, uh, these time for some reason. Uh, Um, I won't be able to defend anything alone, though. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm dead. I'm dead. I shouldn't have stayed there. That's, that's what's really stupid of me. As a support, you never want to be the one, like, on the front line, because you want him to use the ultimate on someone else. Right now, the fact that I'm not here, we don't have any, like, bull, uh, we don't have any hex, any stun. Uh, Finger of Death was already you know, off anyway, but um, they are they are split, split pushing us to death right now. You see that uh, Nature's Prophet says, "Okay, you want to defend bottom lane? No problem. I'm just going to TP top and take the tower instead." So that's the big problem here. Uh, CK is not that well suited for split pushing, I think. At least not with uh, not without risk, which we don't have. So we got an Abaddon, that's uh, not so great, but that's not so bad either. For the price of the tower. The main problem with uh, what's happening right now is that... I won't be able to get there in time, no. Just to be the way. Technically incorrect. Uh, he didn't die to creeps, he tried to kill Dinger, yeah. Yes. With Blade Mail on March. <laughs> uh, that's, um, that's an interesting idea, but um, didn't work out. Yo, I don't have TP anymore, I already used it. He's gonna die. He has to hit someone else, because if he can't kill Bloodseeker, it doesn't matter if you actually hit him, he's gonna heal up. Then again, it's the same for um, the other dude, so... Yes. Oops. Not really sure I want to get too close to that. Otherwise, I'm gonna get ulted and silenced again. And it's gonna be over. Whoa, 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 whoa! Clockwork, what the hell, buddy? Yes, that's forward and roll. Yes. Okay, silence me. Yes. And someone has to TP bottom. I don't have a TP. They're doing very fine on the other side. Your middle tower is under attack. Now I can't catch Tinker without Blink Dagger. No way I'm gonna be able to get him. He's gonna blink away before that. Why not? I think I'm just gonna put Lane Ward because of the fact that we have Tinker, we have uh, you know the other guys like uh, Nature's Prophets. Oh. 
Oh wait, he's going in. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not really sure what he went in. I shouldn't have told him he was dead anyway. Get him. Oh, he's gonna get lasered. <laughs> he said. <laughs> Chaos Knight just killed a Dean Booker here by bringing him back. That was pretty sad. Uh, I'm probably not gonna get my blink dagger anytime soon in this game. <laughs> he's gonna be a bit sad. Everyone needs form. Oh, hell Everyone yes. needs form. Okay, so that's an Abaddon. We should be fine. Problem is, we can only five men. Otherwise, it's gonna be Bloodseeker Ooh, hunting us down. Fight. And if we, if we do five men, they're just gonna split push. We have to shove the lanes before that. Oh, yes. Shove the lanes before pushing. Onward. Oh, yes. Lane wards. Fucking mouse. Somebody's cooking. Your top tower is under attack. So we got two, that's good. We may even get three. And now they're moving away. I hope I just hope we're not losing too many of uh of, of them here. Oh. Already lost two. We're loving three. Yep. I don't like the devil. We had a nice trade before they actually went in. Why go for more? Prowling. Oh hell yes. No. He can kill he can kill me actually. I oh wait. Yes. Ah no, he has bloodstone. Against Bloodstone, I can't kill him. If he wants for a like E Blade Dagon something, it's whoever blinks first, or whoever like, gets the the kill first. He went for kills. Yeah, Clockwork kind of made very bad decision. So I have to say I I would be tending to believe the uh, Ember Spirit there, because Clockwork really 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 made bad decisions during this game. So. Where's the fight? I'm getting closer to my bling dagger. Your middle tower is under attack. I got a power red. Your middle tower has fallen. Easy tower, easy life. Yes, of course. I don't think we can defend it. Seems like no one have a BKB. Well, uh, Ember Spirit, no BKB, that's normal because, well, it's Ember Spirit, you don't want a BKB on him. But, no BKB on Chaos Knight, that's starting to really hurt us. Invoker is going for blink. I mean, late game we still have a lot of chance if we actually manage to stay until late game. We just have to be careful not to get picked off, and that's pretty much it. 
The problem is they have pick up heroes, so uh, if, for example, imagine the um, imagine the, the the nature's prophet goes for a sheep stick. Well, it's very easy to just catch someone and kill him. So. Fight inside, don't go out. Fight inside, don't go out. Oh, well, farm nice. outside, and when they are actually trying to push a lane, farm. Uh, fight inside, and that should be that should be okay. I mean, I have, we have, uh, we have enough wards to cover the area. We know where they are, so we know where they aren't as well. And we have, a, yeah, we just have a sheep stick right now, so that's good. That's good. So that's good. Just gonna get some mana back. Yes. There we go. Uh, the, the mana drain breaks if you lose sight of the uh, target, so um, here I knew that they would just go around and I would keep sight of them. And do we still have wards? I, I still have some wards. I can grab some wards. Yeah, so we see their middle lane, so that's good. As long as we see them, we can farm. And as soon as they all disappear from the map, we have to be careful. So I'm just gonna go and start farming there. Where's the fight? Okay, so we see one top. Snitch Prophet, everyone's going into our jungle. To hell and back. We still need to win late if we survive. Onward. Do not fight outside, he's baiting. I think he's baiting. We have two top and. Problem is, even if I get a BKB, I can still get silence because the uh, blood rage doesn't uh, doesn't get dispelled by BKB anymore. So this is very annoying. Oh hell yes! <laughs> Cash in hand. Yes. So I need to place new wards, uh, deep wards, like last time around here, so we know where they are moving. Because if I ward here, for example, like right there, I wouldn't have known that they moved up to there. So I would have been able to get ganked, and that would have been risky. Oh, they're going on their farm. Can we do something? Contest? Or not? I don't think we can contest. I think Invoker can be very annoying and throw some uh, some some fireball and and shit in there, but otherwise, at least we can scare them. Yeah, scare them away. That's good. Tinkers around here. Okay, I got my one dagger. Whoa, that hurts. Oh, he's gonna blink onto me. Oh, he has vision there. Okay. Uh, Bloodseekers on me. Bloodseekers on me. Wait, what? It hit me that hard? That far? <laughs> you kidding me? What? The ulti killed me? What does he have an item? Oh, 400 damage! Oof! Oof! That hurts. Ah, uh, fuck, he's dead. Oh, what? He can TP out. Yeah, that's right. He can TP out. Mjolnir, okay. Uh, at least I got my bling dagger, so even if I died, it doesn't really matter there. We weren't going to contest Roshan anyway. Roshan has fallen to the Radiant. So we have a mech on them, we have Necronomicon. So he doesn't even have uh, the Aghanim Scepter, I just died from a regular ultimate. Just because I have, like, the, um... Just because the Bloodseeker gave him sight of me while I'm in the fountain. You sleep. Well. To hell Fuck it! Just kill him, kill him quickly, kill him! Good. Kill him again now. Ah. 
The clock actually is zoned and all. Kill him. Okay, minus one. Ah, uh, poor clockwork, he's gonna die there. Oh, Oof. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your bottom barracks are under attack. I'm dead. Somebody. <laughs> yeah, kill him. Your bottom barracks. Well, it looks like this one is going to be a very, very uh, obvious loss on this one. Well, you fuck up. <laughs> what the hell? Well, once again, we see that uh, playing Red Dota is very effective in pubs because uncoordinated team have a lot of problems playing against that. I'm not going to say anything bad against Red Dota because it does what it does, which means winning the games. Um, how do we counter this? How do we play against this? Usually we want to be very, very aggressive in the early game to avoid them uh, having the uh, time to actually farm up to what they can. And if, if you take an example, um, the Nature Spark is very bad at anti-pushing and Tinker in low level, well, he's, he does have March of the Machine, so it's still fine. But um, anyone like the uh, Abaddon, uh, Bloodseeker or the uh, alchemist is super bad at and as at um, defending towers. So what we should have done is maybe not go for those kind of heroes, but move more go for a aggressive pushing type of lineup. Uh, one example would be uh, I can't tell anyone. Yeah. One example would be uh, having an enchantress, for example, in jungle. Uh, the lanes were very bad already. Uh, we could have had an, an like a chaos knight can't really push well, so instead we could have had. Um, for example, I don't really know. I'm trying to think, but I'm not sure. How you died against uh, Bloodseeker Abaddon? Nope, nope, Clockwork, nope. Just go away. Just move away. Oh, hell yes. Uh, we should have had, for example, what can push tower easily in the early game? Oh, Terror Blight, for example. That, that pushes fast. Terrorblade, what else? Lycan? Lycan could have been working well as well, but uh, Bloodseeker hits like a truck. Oh, no shit. <laughs> no shit. Ah, too late. That's four. Dead. I'd be dead. I'd be dead. Leave us. The enemy now has mega creeps. Ah, he dead too. Laser. Just laser him and he's dead. <laughs> Tinker. Yep. He dead. I sprout a Alright, this is a loss. This is a loss. <laughs> Your ancient is under attack. Ready to victory. Was it so bad of a game? I just um I just have a hard time playing against that kind of lineup, like I said, and our lineup was very bad too. Pick that useless heroes who can't get a single tower. Um, it's true that Ember Spirit could have picked something else because 
I mean, CK was fine. It's it's not good in this lineup, but it's fine. It's uh, it's okay-ish. Uh, although the problem is he picked CK after Ember Spirit, so that was bad. Yeah, if he could have picked something like I said, like an Entrustress, a Chin, or even even any kind of other support heroes that could rotate with me, and maybe put more pressure on Tinker, more pressure on Nature's Prophet, it would have been better. I mean, Clockwork can feed a Blood Seeker, and you know that kind of happens, but. If he was alone, at least, he would feed alone the Bloodseeker. And there it was Ember Spirit and Clockwork. So basically Clockwork was gimping the Ember Spirit because Ember couldn't get solo experience and vice versa. Alright, so see you guys. We'll go up to next game, so episode 12, and we'll see if this time I managed to get a win or not. See ya.